It's the NFL on EA Sports as we are in the inner harbor of Baltimore at M&T Bank Stadium. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Carolina Panthers and the Baltimore Ravens. Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And off we go from M&T Bank Stadium. On the return, Andre Roberts from his end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. A little jet sweep to start the drive. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They'll fake the handoff. Now Darnold. His throw incomplete. Man coverage is certainly a staple of their defense. And it's built for plays like that, forcing that incompletion. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. A play fake, and it's Darnold. That'll be caught by his tight end, Ian Thomas. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Faking the give, Darnold. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Hubbard. On the move past the 40. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. But forget the run on third and one. They shot the D and rip off a pretty big play. They'll run it here. This is Deontay Foreman. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Play action. It's Darnold. He's got a man. It's his fullback. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. First and goal. A chance for an early statement here on the road. A carry for Foreman. And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. The yards may start getting a little tougher to come by down here near the goal line. That's good work defensively there on first down, holding him to a short game. Out to his left. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. Now Darnold on third and goal. He's got it for a Panther touchdown. Ian Thomas, a five-yard touchdown. And the Panthers are on the board first on the road here in Baltimore. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 22. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He finds Robinson. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. Throwing again on second down. Jackson. And this is going to be hauled in by the tight end, Andrews. And he's going to get this down near the 25. Off the play fake, here's Jackson. That is caught. It's Bateman for a Raven touchdown. Rashad Bateman, 25 yards for the touchdown. Justin Tucker for the extra point. 
It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter. Tied 7-7. Seven, seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Here's Roberts to bring it out of the end zone. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time out, Charles. Remember, they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is going to have to be a longer, more sustained drive if they want to get points. Yeah, a little bit more of a quick strike opportunity last time by where they were on the field, and you're exactly right about that. But now, backed up a little bit. What's that old expression we love to use? Time to matriculate the ball down the field and try and do it again. Off of play action, Darnold. Escaping the pressure right. Trying to fit it into more, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Marlon Humphrey. And the Ravens are going to take possession of the football. Well, Charles, you got a quarterback out of the pocket trying to make a play, and you get it, but instead he ends up throwing it to the other team. And, partners, we know to be successful in this league, number one, you're going to have to be able to make plays on a perimeter or when the pocket breaks down. But number two, you've got to make smart decisions with the football. And that time, that simply was not a smart decision. After the interception, here's Jackson. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. From the 41, Jackson. He'll swing this out to Davids. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end. These two teams continue after one. to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Jackson. That's complete. It's Devin Duvernay. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. Throwing now. Jackson on first down. And it's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. Offense was moving them a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earned a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. And Jackson throwing once more. And in for the Ravens touchdown. Devin Duvernay from 21 yards away. And the Ravens have moved out in front. Tucker now for the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14 7 ball game. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Here's Roberts to bring it out of the end zone. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. That 7-0 lead of theirs is short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula that got him down here the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they get this game tied up. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Darnold. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. <laughs> He's got to throw it better. Got to get more help. 
obviously one that should have been caught. They got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress on this one. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. And he's certainly not a guy that drops that football very often. Indeed, because that's a bit of a surprise. I know he's in the middle of some traffic and people, bodies all around him, but he usually has the focus to haul that one in. So now third and ten. They had the big play to start the drive, but two incompletion since. Back to throw, Darnold. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Marcus Williams. And the Ravens are going to have the short field here as they'll take over right at the 50. And I think this is a situation where a quarterback coach in the sideline is going to talk to a signal caller and say, listen, it's third and long, and it's still early in the game. Let's not force things here. If we don't feel good about it, let's just check something down and pump the ball down. From midfield now, here's Jackson. And this is incomplete. Demarcus Robinson, the intended target on that one. And now it's second down. I think he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Jackson now. That is caught with Sean Bateman. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. A game there of 30 big ones. That is the exact right play call against that defense. So a hat tip to the offensive play caller because he won that part of the chess match. But give credit to his players as well. They won the execution part of it. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion for him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. From the 21, it's second and 10. Here's Jackson to throw. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Xavier Woods with a pick. And the Panthers are going to take over at their own 11-yard line. Well, he's certainly not been afraid to take some chances downfield. Now, look, it's paid off for him a couple of times. That time, not so fortunate. And that's where I want to start, what you said. It's paid off a couple of times. So his aggressiveness has been good for his offense for the most part. So he throws an interception there. No one likes that, but I would not rein him back in. The return on investment thus far has been pretty good. Two touchdowns to one interception. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Now Darnold going to take it and just bat this one forward to his wide out. And he is going to lose yardage here. This offense so far on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and 11. Darnold down to throw. And incomplete. He had no step aside here in this second quarter. Here's Johnny Hacker now as his first punt will and from their own end zone. It's a fake. Oh, and this turns into a mess as it's intercepted. And the Ravens are going to take possession of the football. So that now two consecutive drives that have ended in interceptions. You wonder if he's trying to do a little too much out there. Oh, I like where you're going with that, that maybe he's pressing it a little bit, trying to be too fine with his throws, or maybe overestimating his arm. It could be a combination of all of those things. In any event, he's got to get it figured out and in a hurry. Ahead of the chains now, second and two. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14 to 7. Play fake to Dobbins. Here's Jackson. That is knocked away and incomplete, but a penalty flag in the backfield. This might be a roughing call. 
Well, Charles, sometimes we talk about the lengths officials sometimes go to to protect star quarterbacks, but that one, that was tough to argue against. Yeah, and I'm sure that everyone's going to say, hey, we're going to administer the penalty the same way for all quarterbacks, but when it's a star back there, even more so, they're going to be diligent about throwing the flag. Now second and nine from the 10. To throw is Jackson. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. The way he's been slinging in the first half, you expect everything he throws to go for a touchdown, but I guess he's got the way to try to pick up that third, isn't he? Yeah, I thought he had him for a second, but you're right not to be. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Jackson. He'll find Dobbins out of the backfield. And here he'll get it down to the seven. They're going on fourth down. It's Jackson. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Jeremy Chin picks it off. And the Panthers are going to have it here just past the 25. Well, I appreciate the aggressiveness trying to go for it there on fourth down, but you're in the red zone, had three points in your back pocket. Instead, Charles, they throw it away. Certainly a big call to go for it on fourth down, as you said, in the red zone. Definitely going to cost them three points, and we'll see how that affects the game as time goes on. Now a pass dumped off to his running back. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. Fighting his safety valve here. That's complete. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. The Panthers are going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. A play fake, and it's Darnold. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. They'll fake the handoff. Now Darnold. Pass complete. Finds Thomas going across the middle. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back. But now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. He'll find his man, Terrace Marshall, complete. He's got room at the 30. Down the right sideline. Touchdown, Carolina. Terrace Marshall in the final seconds of the first half. And the Panthers have a chance to tie the game here in the final seconds of the half. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Very short kick. This will be taken by one of the up men. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. This one fielded at the five. And he will make it back to the 15, and that's it. Good coverage there by the kick team. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. This offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter. Well, quarters number one and two entertaining. We saw some good off. Oh, for the third time, Jackson going to be intercepted. At the line for this next drive. This offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter. Well, quarters number one and two entertaining. We saw some good off. Oh, for the third time, Jackson going to be intercepted. And he will bring this one back. 